Software emulation is a technique that allows you to run software on hardware that it would normally not be able to run on. So if you have a program that you want to run on your modern day computer, but the program is not compatible with the modern day hardware inside your computer, you can use an emulator and that allows you to run the software. So a good example would be if you have, say, an old um, Game Boy game that you want to play, but you don't actually have a Game Boy console anymore, or maybe it's broken, then you can use an emulator to run the game on your computer instead. Software emulation is actually a form of virtualization, which is something we've talked about before on this channel. So virtualization is a, an extremely interesting topic. Normally, you have a computer system, so that is the hardware configuration of a computer system, and then you have the software running on that hardware configuration. So the software is the code that is being executed by the hardware. And it's important that the software is compatible with the hardware that you're running it on. Right? So the software, uh, the hardware must be able to understand this, this code, otherwise it's, it's not going to work. So for example, I have a desktop PC right here. Actually the PC is down there, the, the screen is here. Um, so it's an x86 computer and it's running an x86 operating system, in this case Windows 10 could also be Linux or Mac even. And then there is also a technique called virtualization. Now what virtualization allows you to do in a very basic sense is to put a layer of software in between the hardware and the operating system. So now instead of having the operating system run on the hardware on the computer, the operating system runs on another piece of software and that runs on the hardware. So we've separated the hardware from the software by using that layer. And this allows us to do all sorts of cool things. So for example, we can now run multiple operating systems at the same time on one machine um, so that we can have multiple logical computers while we actually only have to spend money on one physical computer, which is very nice. Um, we can easily migrate operating systems back and forth between computers and there are many other virtualization configurations that you can have. So you can also say we run an operating system on the hardware and then inside that operating system we run a virtual a virtualization program such as for example VirtualBox is an example of this and then in that program we run another operating system. So then the diagram would look like this, right? You would have hardware, operating system, virtualization layer, and then on top of that you'd have another operating system. In theory you could cascade this further and further and have operating systems stacked on top of each other. So you can have all sorts of weird configurations with virtualization. In fact it goes beyond operating systems. It can also be done with programs and such. Virtualization is a big big topic and there is a lot of information on it but basically the idea the oversimplified idea of virtualization is that you have a layer of software that pretends to be a hardware platform and then on top of that layer of software pretending to be hardware you have another piece of software that you want to run such as an operating system now the thing is, in most normal virtualization setups, all of these operating systems are still compatible with the original hardware. Now emulation is a virtualization technique that goes one step further than this. In emulation what we're doing is we are running an operating system that normally isn't compatible at all with the hardware that we're using. So we have say an x86 based PC running an x86 operating system, on top of that we're running a virtualization layer, and then on top of that we're running a piece of software or an operating system for a completely different computer architecture that would normally not run on our x86 computer. Therefore what needs to happen now is the virtualization layer that we use needs to completely simulate this computer architecture that is compatible with the operating system or program that we are running. So for example if we go back to the Game Boy example if the software we're running is a Game Boy game which normally wouldn't run on an x86 PC right? 
what the virtualization layer is doing is it's actually simulating the hardware of a complete Game Boy console um, in order to be able to run this game and well for a Game Boy that's quite easy to do because it's not a very high-end computer system but for higher end more powerful computer platforms simulating them takes quite a bit of processing power and therefore emulation has way worse performance than normal versions of virtualization a normal virtualization setup performs relatively well actually of course there is some overhead but generally speaking a virtualization setup performs performs relatively well whereas an emulation setup we're simulating entire platforms in order to run some software and therefore the performance absolutely sucks but despite that emulation is something we need it's an essential thing it's very very important and very cool as well because it allows it allows us to run certain programs and run software that we otherwise wouldn't be able to run anymore because those systems might not exist anymore might not be built anymore or it might be very hard to acquire them so emulation is a very cool technology and we absolutely need it and it's not just for playing games it's all for, also for running all sorts of other legacy programs and, and operating systems however like I said the performance isn't great so that is what emulation is and what you can do with it I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching motorbike multiple motorbikes it's getting warmer again outside so that means there are more motorbikes on the road which I find quite annoying anyway